Welcome back guys. So in this video of the Bobo tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit, edit an item in a database by editing one of our homes and editing some of the values in our homes. So we're on a, our dashboard page where we list in our properties and you see one of the homes we created. We don't have any photos because we created this home before we added the multiple photo uploading functionality. But we want to go back and edit that and let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go back to the editor, go back to our design view. I'm gonna go to the dashboard. Actually, before we start editing this, let's go ahead and create a new page. And we want to call that edit home. And the edit, the edit page is very similar to the create page. So let's go ahead and click create. We're going to clone the create page. And there you have it there. What we want to do is let's go back to our dashboard. And we want to add Nice little icon, an edit icon. Let's decrease that there. And we want to add an icon. Write that there. So edit. If there's an edit icon, there goes one. The pencil icon. Thirty for thirty. Edit home icon. There we go. Find that. Go ahead and preview. Yeah. There we go. Price doesn't need to be this long. There we go. So what we want to do next is when this is click, let's go over to the edit page. So let's go to workflow. Let's add an event elements. When an element is clicked, Let's go edit home icon and the action we want to navigate to the edit home page. And we want to send some data over. So we want the parent groups home. So let's see what the error is. Edit homes content type is not set. So we wouldn't need to go and set that. So when we send data to a page, that page needs to be able to receive that type of data. So we're sending the type of data we're sending is a home for the edit page, but we haven't set that just yet. So we want to keep this here and let's go over to the edit home page the designer tab and all we need to do is click somewhere in the open field on that page and we set the type of content is of home cool and that should have gotten rid of error we was having so let's go back to the dashboard let's go back to workflow now you no longer see our issue our error is gone so cool and let's click make sure parents groups on cool that's what we want it. So let's go to edit home. Go back to the design tab and we want to change a few things here. So with this repeatable group, we want to set the data source to being
the current page is home, which is currently empty. And not only the current page is home, the current page is home photos. Cool. And we want to do the same thing for these other input fields. So for address fill, we want to set the initial content to insert dynamic content to the current home, the current page is home, the address. And we want to do the same. So the initial content for the city, current page home city, go ahead and do that. Initial content, page home state, do the zip code, the content, current page home, zip code. Anything for price. Content. Page home number of bedrooms. Bathrooms and content. And square feet. I should do it. So not only that, so since we clone this page, we got to make sure that that this has the right functionality. So instead of create new home, change this to update home. And when this button is clicked, Let's go to workflow. We don't want to. We don't want to create a new home. We want to update the home. So we can go ahead and delete this, create a new home. Action. And we want to create a new action where we update things. So let's go to data and make changes to a thing. And thing to change is the current page is home. And we want to add the fields. So address field needs to be updated to the input field address. This value. So a lot of this is the same as before when we created a home. Those value city state zip code price. Well, bedrooms. Well, bathrooms. Square feet. Here's the square feet. And what else? Photos. So we want to set the photos. Set list. Set to the values. And actually, last thing, let's 
making sure I'm getting this right. See if I have to set a default value here. The file set effect to display. Let's see. I believe I need to set this is an input field, so I need to set this to a list of photos. There we go. Because this, whenever this is, whenever this is changed, this reputable group needs to read from, read from this uploader. So let's see here. So we still have three issues. What is that? Let's go to workflow. So the navigation, go to home page de home detail must be the last action in the workflow. So that makes sense. So whenever action, you don't want to navigate before we get a chance to update the home. So let's move that to the last place. So go to home detail data to send to be home is empty. So we need to update this. So result of step one. So the data we want to send is the home after we update it. Ooh, so that should do it. So that should do it. So let's go back to our dashboard page. Let's hit preview. Let's see if we want to update this home, this Bridgeport home. So all of the fields are there. 717 Bridgeport. Cool. Let's go ahead and upload the photos. And when I save, when I update the home, I expect all of these values to remain the same. 717 Bridgeport, Drive, Franklin, Tennessee, 37212, etc. The price, number of bedrooms, 32, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. All that should remain the same. Those shouldn't be deleted or changed. So these photos were uploaded. So the only thing that needs to change is we now have some photos. So let's click update home and this should update as well as navigate us to the home detail page. Update home detail page. Yes. Same address price, everything three bedroom, two bad. Now we have photos. And now when we go to our dashboard, the photo appears finally. The photo appears and let's go back to the home page and that photo should appear there and it's still in the same position because we didn't create a new property. All it did was just update it. So that's how you update it. And let's go back to the dashboard. One last thing I'm just going to do really quick is we had a fort property that's not displaying. So let's see why that is. Probably because we don't have enough space down here. Let's stretch that a little bit. Not a fixed number of sales. We want a full list. Even if we go ahead and create this, there we go. Give us enough space. Preview. There we go. See, 
that's that's where our other home was cool so that's all there is to updating very similar to creating a new home so in the next video we actually want to show you how to delete an item from a database and this should be really easy so stick around remember to remember to subscribe to the channel we got plenty of more videos left in this tutorial series so don't forget those to get and get notified when they do come out so stick around to the next video where we show you how to delete a property.